Alright, let's start by uh, making the settings of the panel uh, step by step. Um, we skipped over something. Let's talk about that first. Now, if I don't want to see errors regarding uh, Turkish characters in operator panel, I have to go to the project languages section and select Turkish. Uh, now, we have talked about this uh, before and I will select Turkish. Um, let's make them both Turkish, these ones, and also the, there are the reference and editing sections. And um, after that, uh, let me go to the runtime settings and uh, screen section from here. So there is the language settings here, and I have set the language into Turkish too. And after I set the settings regarding Turkish, uh, we will have no problem with Turkish characters. I think, by mistake, we added Spanish too. Uh, let's delete that. And as you see, I have made my settings. After that, I can use Turkish characters as I wish. Now, let's continue. Using screens with operator panel processes is one of our fundamental features. Uh, we will use screens. Now, I want to add a new screen into our system. So, um, for example, our root screen is our base screen. If you make changes on this screen, uh, this is the template screen, these changes will occur everywhere, I mean every display there is. When using template screen, you can add your logo, company logo, uh, you can add clock feature, and you can also add all the features you will need to display. And this is the features of, these are the features of the template screen. Now I want to add a new screen. I have got root screen in my system. This was my base screen. And I want to add a second one. Look, I can name the screen. And by right-clicking and selecting rename, you can rename it too. Mm, let me add another one, another screen. And let's name this one. Uh, this will be called Screen 2. And just like that, I can add new screens into my system. As you see, this screen is different. And this is much different. When I click on root screen section, look, this is our root screen section, and my base screen is this. And I have added new screens. Uh, let's say you wanted to start your system or you want a screen to pop up when you do. Uh, for example, let's start it from root screen or screen one. Uh, how do you select that? Look, uh, you made the settings you will make the settings as follows. If you want uh, to start from the screen you want, if you want that, you have to go to the runtime settings and from the general settings section, you go into start screen. Root screen is selected by default. You may select uh, the screen you want and you can select any screen you want as long as your system is on runtime mode. For example, you may select screen 1 here, and if you select this check mark, system will start with screen 1. Then you will be switching screens starting from screen 1. Uh, you can set your screens and switches between screens from here, and you can add new ones. Now, let's open our root system. Sorry, root screen. We have added our logo here. And let's open our root screen. Uh, you may add I.O. field from here. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, from here you can add buttons into your screen. Um, from here you can add symbolic I.O. Input and output. And you can add graphic I.O. from here. And uh, you can also add expressions regarding time, just like that. Look, from there you can add bars, system-related related bars. 
you can add a bar that shows the changes of analog signals, temperature, values, etc. You can see those changes uh, throughout bars. You can add on-off switches from here. As I've said, uh, these are the buttons. And there you may add I.O. filters. I will show you how to set that. You may add uh, different symbols from basic objects section. For example, let's say you want to draw a picture. Uh, you want to draw something here and uh, you can add this. You can add an ellipse. Uh, you can write using this thing. You can add expressions related with graphics and graphics screen. You can do it all from this section. Um, we have got control menu here and you can add alarms. And you can add alarm pages like this. And you can add trend view from here. Regarding our users here, uh, you can go over them by pressing delete and you can delete everything. Let's delete everything that we have added by pressing delete. Uh, you can add expressions to define the user's authority from here and you can add expressions related with system diagnostics. You can also add information related with recipe function. So now you know all about how to add screens, uh, selecting main screens and using the menu. Um, look, uh, we have got animation section here, uh, there are instruction sections, also you see task and library sections. But uh, we will be using the toolbox section that is located on the top right regularly and let's continue to calibrate the settings of the panel.